All right. My analyze this is going to be crazy. So we're going to make a new assembly after we've got this thing done. Okay. Create a new assembly. I'm going to go ahead and insert a part. Let's start with our uh, base. Throw that right in the middle. Bada bang. Our part two. We'll throw that up here. I like to put them like out of position because then I can see it come into position. And then we'll get those three in there and green checkbox. All right, first thing we always do, this part is not going to move. This one right here, right click, fixing it, not going to move. You can see the icon come up, and now when I try to drag it, it will not move. This one will, so will that one. So now we're going to do a couple different mates. And the first one, let's go ahead and do a revolute, and we're talking about the gray center point between and the blue one right there, okay? Zooming in. Let's get our revolute mate, and it's right up here. Right. or S, Revolute Mate, right there. And I'm going to get the center point of that right there. Okay, And then I can come over here, and I will get right there. One thing to verify that you've got your uh, things correctly, because this is just supposed to spin in there on the end. We'll go ahead and push play. Oh, yeah, that thing's spinning. Done. Boom. Okay. Now, the second one we're going to do is this uh, these two edges and this one's going to use a planar mate up there on the top so if I look at my planar mate and I click on this edge over here and I want it to line up with this edge out here I would see how it's hovering and then it, it kind of confuses me but this is going to work we're going to click right there and those are planar mates let's see what's going to happen so it'll, <laughs> it'll go nuts but see how that side's always going to say even on that edge Okay, that's what we want. Green checkbox. Okay, I'm gonna move this up so we can see. Um, I can't really, I can't move this thing left or right is what I wanted to do. Okay, and that's why that planar mate is in there. Next one. Okay, we're gonna get a cylindrical mate from up on top, and we're gonna put some limits on it, and you'll see what that looks like. So we're comparing that circle right there and to the cylinder. So. Now we can do our, where is it, cylindrical mate, bada bing. And we're going to click on this part right here. Okay, so I had my blue arrow pointing that way, and then I'm going to do this cylinder right there. Let's see what that looks like. Play. Cool, cool. Okay, and that's great. That's all good and dandy, so it's going to stay in there. But the thing is it goes too far. I don't, I don't like that. We're going to fix that up. So what we're going to do is come back into our cylindrical mate. And we're going to put some limits on it. So right here. And you can play with numbers uh, and then see where you're at. But I believe we're at negative 3.5 and 3.25. So we're going to go limit on the Z. Negative 3.25. Is that right? Nope. 3.5. Negative 3.5 and 3.125. Is that what I wrote? It is. So now if we push play, you can kind of see it is only going to go so far. The other part's not coming with it at this point. It will update when we get to it, right? So now if I drag this in and out, it stops there, stops a little short, and it stops right there. Is that going to hit? No, we're pretty close there, though. Right about there. The um, We do have a revolute, so... Right? We can grab this handle and spin it, and it goes, um, that's a cylindrical mate. It, go, it can spin and it can go there. Now, we want to constrain it one more time, and pretending that this and this were threaded, um, we'll be able to do a screw relation, right? And oh, I didn't add that to it. Let's go ahead and screw relations over here on the right, okay, and right there screw relation so what does it need it needs a cylindrical mate to be able to do that and now they are related and we can test it out as we spin it and you can play with that number if it needs to move farther in one rotation or not as far we can play with that number and figure out um, the correct speed we could calculate that if we were talking about the threads but we're not at that level yet so um, we're just going to leave it Let's go to call it good. Now we are fully constrained and this thing can.
function correctly. Fancy. Nice. You did it. You're great. Good luck.